Welcome to the Lockdown U Podcast, a podcast for all football lovers. Here's your host, Mike Blackstone. January 2022. I was literally going through some of the hardest times you can imagine. I knew I had to be brave in order to disidentify from the pain. So I created this podcast to talk about the game that I love, the game that changed my life, but most importantly, to be of service to others. There was a harsh lesson in that pain, but I persevered. Now I'm fully caught up in the rapture of seeing you all win. I used the pain to walk in my purpose because that's what I was called to do in this life. So thank you for helping me help you. Let's win. Lockdown U, episode three. We're going to go over the USFL week seven picks of the week for me. And we're also going to talk CFL football. So first up on Saturday slate for the USFL, we have the New Jersey Generals versus Tampa Bay Bandits and the New Orleans Breakers versus Michigan Panthers. I'm going with the Generals with that great ground attack. Uh, it looks like they're, they're controlling both lines of scrimmage each week. Um, I'm going to go with the Generals over a well-coached Tampa Bay Bandits team. Darius Victor gets in the end zone again to continue his lead in rushing in the USFL. So I got New Jersey Generals. New Orleans Breakers versus Michigan Panthers. I think New Orleans, I got New Orleans, I got the Breakers winning this one. Uh, Michigan, uh, they don't get in the win column again this week. I got the Breakers in this one. Sunday's game, Birmingham Stallions versus the Pittsburgh Maulers. Philadelphia Stars versus Houston Gamblers. Uh, to me, I'm going to go with a uh, big bad Lee fan. I like what he did in that, that game the week before last. He has five days of preparation, comes in and gets, helps lead the Maulers to their first win. Um, but I'm going to go with Birmingham Stallions on this one. Undefeated team. Um, they got the hot hand. They're winning in all three phases each week. They find a way to win um, undefeated. So I'm going with the Stallions on that. Next game, I have Philadelphia Stars. They found their way uh, on the ground. Got a new ball carrier. Um, and this kid is flat out dynamite. Um, I like them against a, a, a tough Houston Gamblers defense. Um they're a better team than what the record indicates, uh, but I'm, I'm going to go with I'm going to go with the stars on this one. I think I, I'm uh, Will Likely is going to have a big game as well. Will Likely out of Maryland, DB. Yeah, I think he's going to have a big game this week. So that's my picks for USFL. Now I want to shift the attention over to the CFL. Um, it was a lot of talk about you know the, the collective bargaining agreement, where they're going to reach an agreement or not. Uh, whether they would be a seasoning player or not, uh, would have been a lot of disappointing persons, um, fans, players, coaches. I mean, a lot was looming on this deal, and they finally got it done. The players uh, have ratified a new collect collective bargaining agreement, uh, so that's great. That's great to know. Um, it's great for all parties involved, fans. Like this is great. So it's great news uh, as far as that that CBA getting done, that new CBA getting done. Um, and also Friday was the beginning of the preseason. It was the first action in the CFL. And they had Edmonton versus Winnipeg and then Ottawa versus Toronto. So uh, we know who keeps score of that. But this Edmonton won 30 to 20. So the Elks were beat the Blue Bombers 30 to 20. Ottawa beat Double Blue, beat Toronto 23 to 17. Um, Saturday's action will see BC Lions versus the Calgary Stampede. Montreal, the Owls versus the Ticats versus Hamilton. Um, that's Saturday's action in the preseason in the CFL. But there's even bigger, bigger and better news. So the CFL has been tackling um, inclusion and diversity, um, which is big, such as the NFL. So they're both on the same page as far as those, those trends are concerned. Um, and I think CFL, um, I get, it's a big shout out for me. To see that they they have a, a platform and a program, um, their diversity and a football program, and it's they have nine. Uh, looks like it's nine participants. Um, shout out to Dante Marsh too. Actually, is an original member of that secondary in uh, in BC, the BC Lions. Um, they coined they were coined the lockdown. You that was, you know, a, a term um, that they were known for for years. A really great. Uh, excellent secondaries um, in BC. 
uh, in those times. Shout out to Dante Marsh. He's one of the nine participants that are that uh, that was selected for this diversity program. Um, and he's in Saskatchewan carrying carrying out uh, his mission out there, getting some exposure. Um, you know, just sharpening his tool belt, as well as the other men and women that are trainers or, or aspiring coaches. So this is great that the CFL has this in place. And here's a statement, um, quote unquote, football is our platform. And through this program, we are moving forward in a more positive and more inclusive direction for the betterment of the game, the Canadian football community and the country. I'm all for it. I think that's great. I love it. That's a that's. That's great that they're going in that direction. And hopefully those numbers can expand and more and more persons can be, you know, a, a lot of those opportunities to grow in a profession after football, after their playing days or, you know, whether they aspire to be a trainer or wherever they're going uh, in the game. This is great. This is great for the game. So this is what I have for you guys. Uh, look out for episode four. We'll have a guest on there, a very special guest. Um, thanks for the support. Keep liking, downloading. Go to Apple Podcasts and leave a review and a rating for me, please. You guys are everything. Much love to you. Right after the draft, usually it's higher and fire season in football in the NFL. Uh, so we're right there at that time now. A lot of, you know, some f unjust fires and some people are propelling themselves in, in their careers. It can go either way. It's good or bad. It depends on how you look at it. But it's higher and fire season in football. And a lot of folks are looking to gain that entry point into the business. So if you are one of those persons. For all men and women that aspire to make football their life's work, I want you to check out Neil Stratton's website, www.insidetheleague.com. Again, that's www.insidetheleague.com. On InsideTheLeague.com, you can explore the many options that are offered to aid and assist you in your pursuit to work in football. For two decades now, Neil Stratton has selflessly helped many aspiring agents, scouts, and combine trainers prepare for and ultimately earn their wish fulfillment in working in football. Follow Neil Stratton on Twitter, sign up for the services that suit you on InsideTheLeague.com, and make the slight investment in yourselves and your football careers. If you have any questions, reach out to Neil. He's fully transparent. Also, if you have aspirations of being an NFL scout, I highly recommend that you get Neil's book, Scout Speak, Thinking and Talking About Being an NFL Evaluator. You can find the book on Amazon. It's a quick read, packed with lots of testimonial gems from numerous scouts and GMs across the league. Again, I highly recommend you get this book. The Lockdown You Podcast was brought to you by Mike Blackstone. Don't forget to download and subscribe on Patreon, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.